Hey, my new star. Congratulations. Sit down, big guy. All right. Well, I am a little tired. We, the family was up late last night celebrating. Oh, you really knocked one out of the park last night, didn't you? Hey, you were great, too. All you got to do now is draw up the construction plans and watch the heater commit to the major bulk of the funds. Looking at my new partner. I thought I was already your partner. Whoa, Cal. I said land the Watsahita account, you get promoted. I didn't mean like this. Second. I already told my wife, sir. I spent money I don't have. To do these documents, it's going to take me months. And you better get started. <laughs> Movie Talk with Seth Simmons and Spencer Lee, the film slash role guy. Hold on just a second. Go. Here's the film we're going to be doing today, guys. This movie right here. That ain't my finger on. It's a click. Alright, Spence, how'd you think of the film? It's my favorite Adam Sandler movie, as y'all know from the last video I made. I thought it was alright. I mean... It did get bad reviews. Just don't screen cap us, please. We know it was bad. We just thought it was a good movie that we were bored. We thought of an idea. So we just thought about doing Click. Well, I thought it was a great movie in my opinion. Same here. The film is about this. When a harried workaholic is given a universal remote that allows him to pause, rewind, or skip past portions of his life, he discovers which parts are truly the best okay now the film the film has comedian Adam Sandler which we uh, talked about in our last video which was Mr. Deeds uh, and Kate Benskale which you might may know from the Underworld movies uh, should we pause recording one when we're looking up the cast members or something yeah great, great idea Spencer I like it <laughs> <laughs> I had the Toy Story reference in one of our videos, and now you're doing it. No. Go! Alright, the cast, as we were resuming, Kate Beneskale is Donna, Christopher Walken as Morty, David Hasselhoff, or the Ocean Man, <laughs> as Michael's boss, as, you, as you've seen in the scene that we showed you for the movie. For the Henry, intro. Henry Winkler... Which is in almost every Adam Sandler movie. Julie Kavanaugh as Tra Trudy Newman, which is the mother, and Ted Newman as the father. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, Teddy. <laughs> you knew that for me. 
Alright, um, Sean Austin, which is in, also in 51st Dates, plays Lucy's brother, is in the film as Bill. Rachel Dry as Alice or Alan. Don't watch that scene, it's weird. Um, Joseph Cast Onanen, or whatever that says. As one of the versions of Ben, age seven. Yes. Jonah Hill. As 17, Ben Newman. Uh, Jake Hoffman, who is 22, or is th in through 30. For Ben. Uh, uh, yeah, for Ben. Tantin McCann as Samantha Newman, age 5. Lorraine Nicholson as Samantha, age 14. And Katie Cassidy as Samantha Newman, age 22 through 30. Cameron McClockin or something. Plays Kevin O'Doyle. Jennifer Coolidge as Janie. S Sophie Mark as Stacy. Michelle Lambert as Linda. Janica as Julie. Nick Swarton, the Bad Bad Beyond guy. Sid Gaines as Dr. Bergman. Darn it. You're listening down a lot of the cast. Michael Yama as Watson Naughty Head Executive. Sid Gaines as. We already seen that. Um, Elijah Lewis as Watson Naughty Executive number one. Mio as Watson Naughty. Jeez, how many Watson Naughty Executives are there? Um, Catherine Kane as Kristen. Wait. Boom, go. Director Frank Karachi's high concept fantasy comedy on the surface, Michael Newman, Adam Sandler. Seems to have it all, yet with the demands forced upon him by his ungrateful boss, the ocean man himself, David Hasselhoff. Michael finds himself aside, uh, sitting aside time to spend with his loving wife, Donna, the underworld chick, um, and two picture for her children, Ben and Samantha. Had grown increasingly difficult when a frustrating bout with the television remote leads the overworked husband and father to a nearby Bed Bath & Beyond in search for a universal remote. With the power to control all of his electronic devices, a curious peek into the back room leads Michael into the company of an exotic employee and talented inventor Morty, Christopher Walken. It seems that Morty has created a device that has not only allowed Michael complete control over his television and stereo, but his entire life as well. As Michael discovers that the remarkable device has the power to muffle the barks of the family dog, Zoom himself to to this past and entertain Carl with his wife, even allow him to to travel back and forth through time to different points of his life. The rush of being able to skip straight to the good parts of his life soon leaves him feeling as if more he's missing out on the total experience only when Michael begins to realize that he has lost control of his life and the remote is now programming him. Does he finally learn the life as a much about the moments he'd rather forget as a as it as the moments he will, you. yeah he will always remember all right the film is rating PG-13 for language crude and sex related humor and some drug references the like genre, in my last video the drama the genre is a family or a kids and family comedy directed by Steve uh, Fr Frank Karachi, written by Steve Corin or Mark O'Keefe. It was in theaters June 23rd, 2006. And on DVD, distance streaming on October 10th, 2006. The and the running time is... Um, and Yeah, I'm doing this because we're about to... Die. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh... Should we clock out now? Yeah. Alright. So... You guys know what to do. Put your comment down on this movie. And and one more thing I would like to say. There's this one scene that um that is kind of like that is kind of like a certain second memory to me. Which if you want to find out that memory, go oh, check out why, why, my why I had a great summer series. It's when I call Michael Newman Adam Sandler for the first time. 
Seth, do you have anything else to say? What the crap? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a it's a as a Brock family comedy. This is perfectly acceptable from its sci-fi point of view. It is very pale and emotional to the time travel classes. It seeks to ape, but all of its competing aspirations of the movie just never clicks. I get it. Click is a one-trick pony of a comedy. Okay, so um, like I said, I thought Click was awesome. And like y'all know in the last video that I did, Click is my favorite Adam Sandler movie. Bedtime Stories is my second. And today, Captain Marvel comes out. Yep. Seth, do you have anything else to say? I don't like Captain Marvel. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Yes. Well, I you are wearing a Marvel shirt, so... And we did do a Marvel movie on this movie, on, on the on show. Talk. Yep. Deadpool. Yep. Which you'll find me wearing this bad boy shirt. But uh, this time, let's see, try to see it. Uh, show it in the light. There you go. Man, put put it down on put it down in the comment section if you if y'all can see it. All right. Have anything else to say, Seth? Maximum effort. And let's click into action. Yeah. Try to watch the movie, guys. You you probably would like it like us. You probably would enjoy it. All right. Peace out, y'all.